Kidneys, let's talk about those kidneys, those crucial, important kidneys. Who's talking about kidney health? I mean, I've been studying health for years, working with hundreds of people, and we talk about the colon and the liver, and we hear about the kidneys a little bit, but it's never been highlighted to me, especially not like it's been highlighted to me now. I mean, the Lord has really, really highlighted the kidneys. I would say they're life and death. The only thing I think is equally important to cleansing out the kidneys is the colon. And if you think about it, it's common sense. The colon removes large amounts of solid waste out of the body, but the kidneys eliminate all fluid waste out of the body. And sickness and disease as we know it is the accumulation of toxic waste built up into the body that it can't properly eliminate. So if your kidneys are flowing and your colon's flowing, you're gonna be in much, much better shape. It's in the Bible too. Look up the word reigns and look in Jeremiah, and look in Proverbs, and look in the Psalms, and God talks about how he tests our reins. And there's a lot of emotions tied to the reins, and grief, and worry, and fear, and sadness, because it's, our, it's an area where we make decisions. Think fight or flight. Think about that adrenal kidney area where we have to make quick decisions. And so the kidneys are really important physically, but also emotionally and also spiritually. And they're important to God as well. And so we want you to have optimal kidney function. We want you to understand kidney filtration. And that's why I'm doing this special video on this because if you don't understand kidney filtration, then you're in trouble. I mean, there are people out there with diabetes that are on dialysis, that have kidney stones, that have had their kidneys removed because they have tumors on their kidneys, that have kidney cancer, that have bladder infections and urinary tract infections and on down the list. The kidneys are crucial to human function and human life. And if they're not filtering out toxins and waste, you are going to accumulate and back up inside your body and that's gonna create some type of sickness or disease. So we wanna avoid that and if you're having health issues, I can guarantee you the kidneys is something you need to get working. So, how do you know your kidneys are filtering? Well, what do you go, when you go to the doctor, what do they tell you? Your urine should be clear, wrong, negative. Your urine should be cloudy and stinky. It should be full of sediment. And that's the first thing you wanna look for and when you know you're on the road to cleansing and to healing is that there's sediment in your urine. That's how you know you're filtering out toxic waste out of your lymphatic system, acids that are built up. And so we really, really wanna work on that. And the way you do that is through fasting with juicing or really astringent fruits. So you can use like uh, all your berries are good, watermelon's really good for the kidneys, um, any of your other melons as well. Citrus is probably the best. Lemon specifically. Everybody hears about lemon and lemon in their water and how amazing lemons are and grapes are as well but you're talking about the fluid systems of the body. So you want high water content, hydrating fruits and vegetables to clean out the kidneys because radishes are also really good for the, the kidneys. Cucumbers are really good for the kidneys. So this combination of fruits and vegetables raw are the best for cleansing out the kidneys, but the astringent fruits are probably the best. Now the other thing to optimize kidney filtration is you want to do, um, you want to do herbs that open up the kidneys, so like stinging nettle and hydrangea and uva ursi and all these different herbs filter out um, waste out of the kidneys, and so that's crucially important. I also talk about distilled water being important because we have these buildup of these inorganic minerals in our kidney tubes and the ureters blocking everything up, and the distilled water will actually help flush and move a lot of that stuff out of there. Now, a lot of people have really stubborn, blocked up kidneys, and there's a couple things you can do for that. One is, if you look at part of the cleanse, is I recommend baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. These things break up stones, they open up the kidneys to function well, they add extra bicarbonate minerals that the body needs to function properly that the kidneys need. There's a doctor who wrote a book called Sodium Bicarbonate where he's seen people healed of cancer and getting off of dialysis and kidney disease using baking soda. It's incredibly powerful. Uh, we recommend the food grade baking soda that we have here or wherever you can get it, not maybe the grocery store stuff because you don't know if it's the best quality, it might be processed. But this is a powerful, powerful drink to alkalize your body to break down stones and any kind of calcifications in your body. I mean, think about arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, where the fingers are, are getting all uh, disfigured. That's calcification. 
and that's acidic waste built up in the joints. And so the kidneys is crucial for all of these types of issues so that we can get freedom from sickness and disease. So kidney filtration, important, crucial to your health. If you're having really, really, really stubborn black kidneys, take an adrenal, uh, I'm sorry, take a kidney glandular. So we have one called Pure Kidney, and that you just start with like one, take that for a couple of days, then you can go to two, you can go to three, and that's a way to jumpstart your kidneys to functioning properly. It's called a glandular, and there's different varieties of it, of it out there. And then the other thing that we have tried that we've seen success with is castor oil packs on your kidneys. And I have a protocol for that in my kidney cleanse where you can actually put some cayenne pepper and a little bit of a, and a castor oil pack on the middle of your back where your kidneys are and you can put some heat to it. So like a heating pad or a hot water bottle or something like that. So you're bringing blood flow and you're bringing heat to the area and that can help open up stubborn kidneys as well. So I just can't stress enough and the Bible stresses plenty that there's something really special and valuable about these kidneys in every level. I mean, we are body, soul, and spirit. And when you work on these different organs, the kidneys, there is relationship there with God in the area of our physical bodies, our emotional health and makeup, and our spiritual connection with our Lord. And so I really want us to start focusing on that, thinking about that, praying about that. And again, the kidneys is just a big deal because this is how waste leaves the body. Fluid waste leaves the body. And I just see so much damage out there related to sickness and disease from us not understanding the full importance of the kidneys. And so I wouldn't move on to the lymph cleanse. I would move on to any other cleansing until you know your kidneys are filtering, until you see that sediment, you have that stinky smell, you got all that junk coming out your kidneys. I would not even move on past the kidneys. I would stay working on the kidneys until you see that start to happen. So hopefully with some of these tips, you can start to get good kidney filtration and you can find freedom in your health and in your body because that's our desire for you. You have a family to take care of. You have a life to live. You have a calling on your life of all the amazing thing God wants you to do while you're here. And so we want you to be a free flowing river of life because that's what the kidneys represent. And um, you need them. They are crucially important. Man, I love you guys. God bless. Happy, happy healthy kidneys to you.